All right. So problem two, complete the table for the given rules. Line E, rule, y is twice as much as x. So we're going to multiply our y times, I'm sorry, we're going to multiply our x times 2. So 0 times 2, let me get this, 0 times 2 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4, ooh, that's a crazy looking 4. 5 times 2 is 10, 9 times 2 is 18. Going to go ahead and build up my coordinate pairs, which are 0, 0, 2, 4, 5, 10, 9, 18. I feel like as I go, my handwriting gets crazier and crazier. Line F. Rule is y is half as much as x. So that means that our x is going to be divided by 2. Instead of x times 2, it's going to be divided by 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. If you're wondering how that works, think about it. If you have 0 cookies and you're trying to share between you and a sibling, well, neither of you gets a cookie. All right, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Building up my coordinate pairs, we've got 0, 0, 6, 3, 10, 5, 20, 10. Okay. Once again, you can go ahead and fill these out with those numbers if that makes you, if that makes it a little bit easier for you. Um, might be easier on paper than on a tablet, but if that's how you want to do it, you are more than welcome to. So, I'm not going to, but you can. Um, A says construct each line on the coordinate plane above. So, building line E, we've got x at 0, 0, sorry, the first point at 0, 0, which is right there. We've got our second point at 2, 4, so 1, 2 spaces in, and then 4 spaces up. The next one is at... 5, 10, so 5 spaces in, 10 spaces up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go, <laughs> that's a little bit of small, oh my goodness, sometimes things get crazy on the iPad, alright, there we go, beautiful. The next one is 9 and 18, so um, I might even go to the 18 first. 18, and then we said 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, technically, you're supposed to put your look at your X first, but honestly, whichever way helps you. Um, sometimes I, most of the time, I do my X first, but in cases like that, where I'm really zoomed in, um, and the X was much smaller, it was easier for me to just look at that 18 first and then count nine spaces in. It's just really important to remember with your coordinate pairs uh, that X is your first number and Y is your second number. That way, if you do change it up on how you're placing those numbers, you're at least doing it accurately. So, I'm gonna go ahead and build my line. And that one's just a little bit too not at the zero, zero. We want to make sure it's going through all of those points. Alright, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but... 
always want it to look our best. So this is the last time I'm going to try, and then we're going to, oh, no. Nope. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> okay. Still not perfect, but it is very, very close. Making sure we show that that goes on forever. And what did we say that line was? That's line E. We want to label those lines. We didn't in our previous question, so I'm going to go back and label those because that's the good thing to do so we actually know which lines are which. This one was line A, B, and C. There we go. Okay, now we can build our points for line F, which also starts at zero, zero. We kind of already have a point there, and there's a lot going on there, but if you wanted to build it, let's build it in a different color since we're on here. Let's build line F in red. Let's get fancy with it. Zero, zero. Okay, and then we're at six, three, so six, one, two, three, then we're at 10, and then five, then we're at 20, and 10. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. All right, now I can build my line. Oh. Okay. So we're having some technical difficulties here. You can see that that would have gone through that point. Let's see if I can. going to continue the line from there. Uh, beautiful, <laughs> I guess. All right, that's line F. I'm not going to fix it because I'm not going to spend all my time trying to make it perfect for you guys uh, and waste your time on the long, long video. All right. Um, the next one says compare and contrast these lines. E, it's much steeper than F, you'll notice. On E, the Y values get big very, very quickly. But on F, they go up much slower than on the Y value. Um, so write that in your own words. But you'll notice, if you notice with these, with the pattern, this one started, this one didn't increase as much just because the y value didn't increase as much. Okay, based on this pattern, um, predict what line g, whose rule is that y is four times as much as x would look like. Draw your prediction on the plane above. So, I predict if y was four times as much, so if each of these x values were even the same, y times anything or y times 4 for any of those, I'm sorry, x times 4 for any of those points, g would be even more steep. So I like to plot two points just to kind of get an idea of where that would be uh, for the line. So if I had 1, for example, 1 times 4 would be right there. And then 2, 2 times 4 would be right there. No, it would. Yeah, it would. Um, then three times four would be right, right there. So my line, you can see, is getting steeper even quicker, but it's not as not as like crazy as those other ones. It would still start at that zero, zero, but it would grow just a little bit faster than my E would. So that's line G. 
All right, thank you for joining me for, whoops, nope. Yes, that's the next lesson. Uh, thank you for joining me for lesson nine of problem set, I'm sorry, lesson nine of module six. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for lesson 19. Thank you.